So this past week, I went to NWA 75. I wrestled Major Bendy Man himself, uh, uh, Ricky Morton. But when I was did landing, did you tell him thanks for coming to Live Seventeen? He he felt very very upset. Oh, about it. really he good. Was so upset about good. it. Good. I'm yeah. glad he did. Oh damn, Brian! So I had to kick him in the nuts and beat him. You, you don't skip my show, pal. But when I landed, you know, you always deal with the autograph hounds, and it's fine. You know, someone wants a picture, sure. Someone had like a trading card. They even, I think they were scared to death of me. They showed me their folder. They listened to the podcast, and then I signed it. You know. Oh my gosh! And then some guy. Wait, well, hold on, hold on. Showed you their phone. <laughs> Meaning they're like, look, I, I, I've I subscribed. How do you know? Well, I'm listening to the look? podcast. Like they were listening to it. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Which I, I would have signed a card. That's fine. That's fine. But then some guy comes up to me, something I've never seen before. Now I've seen the flat Funko boxes like taped to a board. Yeah. You know, I've seen that. But what I'm about to describe, I've never seen before. It was just windows to Funko boxes taped to a board just windows so maybe they peel it off with the glue no and so it's, glue? i've i've later found out it's a thing it's the people swap out like they essentially they'll buy a shitty funko they'll ruin the box by peeling off the the window they'll uh-huh. go get those signed then they'll take a funko like let's say it's a zach Ryder, destroy that box and replace it with this new window essentially in my opinion customizing the package yeah, that's a dicey, right? So yeah. unless you unless you are literally saying like, <laughs> you know, fixed up box, right? Signed Zack Ryder because re- they have to reglue that, correct? right? That's right. It's not yeah. like someone was saying, oh, this is like a major Bendy's micro brawler package. No, that you can remove. It's meant yeah, like, to be removed. Yeah, no, no, that's per- that's purposeful. This like, is destruction yeah. of the package. And before I even knew <clears throat> what the hell was going on, it just. Something to smell right, you know. I smell collusion, and I smell it real bad. So I said, "Absolutely not! I'm not signing this." That's like a no lot way. Of work for like, and then he gave me like an address. Like, really? <laughs> How many were there? Why are do it people was just, think they're entitled to free autographs at the airport? It was more than one in the sense that I knew this wasn't for me because it was a generic window. It wasn't a Zack Ryder box. It wasn't a flat Zack Ryder box. It wasn't yeah. a Zack Ryder box. It was a just blank windows. And I'm like, no. Nah. And he and he gave and me an attitude. Multiples? No, no, I don't even know how many he wanted, but I'm just saying he right. had multiples for multiple people. Because so, I guess WWE was in town, and I just happened to be there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that was going to be my first question. I'm like, the yeah. autograph people do not wait for NWA talent to land at the airport. So what's oh, going I on? Oh, I was going to ask that, too. Like, yeah. how did yeah. he know? But yeah. I guess if Matt's the only one, he's got Funkos. Right. Right. So this guy gives me an attitude. And like, I take a step, and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> it's, for the, it's for the Mercurio uh, Funko Pop, right? <laughs> it's coming I soon. I said, dude, fuck off. You know, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, uh, you're, you're trying to, get, you're not a fan. You're trying to flip. He's like, oh, I'm a fan. You can, you can sign my name. I go, bro, you're play- <laughs> don't play this game with me. I know you can take it right off. <laughs> you know, you're fucking with the wrong guy here. Yeah. Geez. And then some other autograph hound comes over. He's like, my daughter is a fan. I said, I'll sign for her. And then he just like starts going off of me. He calls me a loser. And I'm like, wait a minute. For like one second, I felt bad. Then I see in his hand, he's literally holding an envelope full of like 50 or 100 eight by tens. I said, look at you. You're holding all these eight by tens against sides. Like, this is for friends of mine. I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> friends of mine. <laughs> so like <laughs> this whole thing. So either he met he's friends with the WWE talent, and he's giving it to them, or that he's gonna get, hey Rhea, I have 25 friends at home. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out. You're the loser. Bring your daughter to the airport. I'm going to a wrestling show getting paid, pal. But was like, his daughter this, there? His daughter was right there. I felt kind of bad. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't say that. But sometimes that's like these people are such scumbags. That's like a decoy kind of thing. My oh, daughter's Charles. a fan, and then he yeah. called you a loser in front of his daughter. Yes, while holding an eight, like I, I didn't count, but I would say fifty to one hundred eight by tens in an envelope. Man, how anyway. did he? How did he come out of nowhere and call you a loser? You're well, signing the he was waiting for autographs too, then heard what was going on. He's like, how do you know this guy's not a fan? I'm like, well, okay. Holy smokes. He's like, my daughter's a fan. And then I felt bad for a split second until I saw, saw the, the, the handful of 8 by 10 he's trying to get signed. Oh, man. I, but, what I don't understand, especially this Funko thing, right? Like, what's the profit margin here? Like, okay, you're buying, let's say the cheapest Funko you can buy is five bucks. Okay. All right. No, five bucks. I, I, now, I see the profit margin because let's say a real Ripley Funko Pop. I, I don't look at the prices. Maybe it sells for a hundred bucks. You buy it at Walmart for fifteen. You get the autograph for free. 
you buy a shitty Funko for like five bucks. Okay. You're making 80 bucks times five times 10. I guess theoretically speaking, if you can get a bunch of people to sign it and then you just get get those Rhea Ripley's later. I, I, I'm sorry. When I first was thinking about this, I thought they were just waiting for you. <laughs> and then if they get like two of yours, like what are they making? 30 bucks, well, 40 bucks? Well, it depends. On, it it yeah. depends because if they, who knows which ones they have. If they have that, that green Zack Ryder and they're sure. destroying that box. Oh my God. I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, that would be. My guess is they don't have any insane. stock, and they wait until they get okay. We got three Rhea Ripley's autographs. Oh, let's go so. buy the. Of course, that's what they're yeah. doing. Yes, but I say all this to say I have never <laughs> seen just windows before. First time for everything. I was shocked. <sighs> or you know shocked. what you could do? You know, spend your day. You know, actually working <laughs> at an actual job making actual money so that you could just buy these autographs uh, instead of waiting in a fucking airport well, with your goddamn daughter? <laughs> well, Mark knows firsthand when you sign up to the Creative Pro Wrestling Academy, you know, we do the basics, chain, bumping, and airport autograph etiquette. Is <laughs> 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 Man. Man. Goddamn. Uh, that's a, it that's was a just, new one. It was just a while. I just never, I was, I just, and then once I learned about it, this window swapping, I I couldn't believe it. And then, are you aware, uh, Danhausen smartened me up on this. If if they ever ask you to sign a a white eight by ten sized thing that's like film, it's like kind of looks feels like a picture, not just a piece of paper. Yeah. Then th- they somehow can use that as a facsimile on other things or something like that. There's yeah. There's, I was under the impression. I think we this is before. I thought they always like printed a photo over the 8x10 because it's like a, bl- a blank shiny white 8x10 yeah and you sign it i thought they just print a photo over the 8x over the yeah. autograph yeah well he was saying something about they could reproduce multiples or something like that so if it's ever a white thing that's that's somebody trying to make money well there, listen you could tell and have i been wrong before i'm sorry i have i probably have before <laughs> but nine times out of ten i think i nail it right on the head if you have a blank stack of Funko packages, you're not a fan, pal. No, you know, if you were such no, a fan no. of Zack Ryder, you would have you, you would br- br- uh, at least brought it flat. If you were that big a fan, you'd be going to fucking NWA <laughs> two night pay per view extravaganza, or whatever the fuck. It was a two night extravaganza. EC3, I, new, new world champ. Congratulations. Maybe I sound very judgmental. Bro, Bro just retired, by the way. I believe so. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow! Like officially. I think it was a it was a loser must retire or Brodus or Tyrus must retire if he loses. Damn. All right, hold on. Last Dennis thing I'll Major say. Bendy. I think there's still <laughs> some on. That's, That's it. His last action figure. Uh, last thing I'll say. It look. And maybe I'm the biggest fan in the world of Harrison Ford. Right. If that that's the one guy. Like I fucking love Harrison Ford. If you were like, hey man, Harrison Ford's staying at this hotel. It's down fucking in Springfield, Massachusetts. You could get his autograph if you wait there. Oof. I'd say no fucking way. Right? No. No it's such fucking an invasion. way. It's an invasion of privacy. Like, it's brutal. There's no. Th- it's not fun. That's not. No. That's not fun to me at all. The f- the fun thing would be like going to an event that Harrison Ford's at, yeah. that is like made to like meet, you know, and, and everyone's gonna be happy about the situation. And I, yeah, I, think Brian and I, and I promise before, you, you can't expect a good experience. That's what I was just say. You're not gonna have a good experience. Like, it's just gonna be dream crushing so don't do that, it and that being said if i'm at taco bell and i look to my right and there's harrison ford different i'm story. gonna say different. can i get a pick for That's sure i was just story. gonna say you know i'm going to disney world today if someone stops me of course i'll take a picture of course but like if just don't go to the airports yeah just don't do it or hotel i do agree hotels too is is too far but yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, join the community at majormarks.com and get access to exclusive content, behind the scenes footage, and become a member of the Major family. You get bonus episodes on our careers, wrestling figure history, and exclusive interviews with our friends and legends in the business each month. You also get early access to YouTube videos and, of course, the weekly podcast ad free and breaking news updates. Brand new shows featuring. <laughs> oh, baby. And you each month you can interview someone in the wrestling business with the captain's log also buy sell and trade in our exclusive facebook community where people have become friends in real life certain memberships include merch like monthly trading cards and quarterly mystery gifts become a major mark and join majormarks.com today <laughs>